this is the end of the month. Tomorrow is a new day. It's a Sunday tomorrow. Today is a Friday and the, the message is all over. Because God was going to talk to his people. Please, let me see you punch a love sign. Thank you, thank you, Joshua Carr. Let me talk like Joshua Carr. Now let me see you punch some love sign. Thank you so much. Uh, as you join, please, let's share extensively. Let's have everybody on board. I know it's quite late. It's 11, 11, 11 p.m. on the time. or we'll past 11 p.m., but we are glad that everybody is, of course, here. We, we are happy. We are praising God because I know deep in me that there is no way that Republic can stop our independence. They are going to try. They are going to do everything. Conspiracy theories are going to come, but we are going to remain strong. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, let me see this opportunity to tell you that, you know, uh, it's exactly 14 days to my birthday, for June 14, it's going to be my birthday, and I could not have had any pre-birthday gift than this. I must tell you, I could not have had any pre-birthday gift than this. This is a blessing to the people of Southern Cameroon. It's a definition of the intervention of God. It's a definition of that Holy Spirit water that has come to quench, to slacken all the confusion, all the division. I want to tell you, Paul, something. Listen to me. This fight will not be fought by individuals. God will empower us to fight this fight. God, the Holy Spirit, will come at a moment when you do not expect. Tell me one thing. After all the noise, and all of us happy, we are happy because God has shown us that the sign is here. The time is now. I told us that this year is never going to end without the independence of Southern Cameroon. You think that I'm joking? We must remain focused. We must remain purposeful. We must remain relentless. We must remain motivated because our motivation would intimidate the people of La Republic to Cameroon. The wicked government of Paul Bia being born up. Before I get in, before I get to talking about this particular Sonora incident, I will now also talk about some other very important points. Please, as you join, let's share and have everybody on board. We know it's very late, but let's get everybody on board on this show. It's very important. Very, 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 very important. We must all put our hands on deck, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians. Let's remain committed. Let's believe in what we know. So we share extensively to everybody. Once we have everybody, at least close to a, we have close to a thousand watching, we'll start the message straight up. I will talk today on some key issues. I will start before getting to Sonora to tell us why Sonora got burnt and who burnt it. Because we do not want anybody anywhere in the world, any activist or group of persons to come and claim responsibility. So that is why I said, okay, I was going to come first because they will use it to disturb you, to distort information. That's what they are good at. We have to put our heads straight. Ladies and gentlemen, I will talk today about the relationship between the Cameroon army, the UPC militants during the era of the Marquisa, as well as the heads that have been beheaded in southern Cameroons. We will try to connect dots for the international community to understand. I will also explain to the international community and to us, the Ambazonian people, and to the government of Pobia being Vondo that the Ambazonian people, and especially the Ambazonian soldiers, do not burn houses. I'm technically re responding to the governor of the Northwest colonial governor that is still occupying our area, who, of course, is controlling some of our countries, and we have to take him out. I will explain to him why all the things that he wrote are lies about the fact that he said Amber Boys attacked the communities out there. We did not attack any community. I will explain. I will also talk about what General Mecca told the Minister of Defense during New Year wishes. And when he insisted, that is the reason why the Minister of Communication is always defending the military. We will end this show by talking about this other very, very important thing. When Mr. Pobia's ministers gather to say that, oh, we can solve our problems. This is not an internal, it's an internal issue. But the U.S. says no. And I'll explain to you why. And I'll explain more to the international community why they must understand that 
we as a people, the people of Southern Cameroon, to, to support Paul Bia's ministers to say that this is an internal issue, I will tell them that it's not an internal issue, and I will explain why. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, I want to thank all of you immensely for your contributions. I want to thank most, if not all of you, for being level-headed. We want to continuously pray to God to give us the wisdom, to give us the ability to participate in making informed choices for the poor of Southern Cameroons, to give us the wisdom to settle differences amicably, to continuously pray and empower us with the spirit of oneness, the spirit of forgiveness, the spirit of reconciliation, the spirit of, I have my brother's back. In fact, I pray that God should convert every Southern Cameroonian, every Southern Cameroonian into a mother hen. I will explain to you what I mean. You can consider this one as the mother hen theory. You know, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, that the mother hen is a very passionate and very unparalleled kind of bird when it comes to the treatment of its children. I think the hen is probably one of those living species on earth that is never discriminatory. Have you seen the way the mother hen feeds its chicks? If you answer me, ladies and gentlemen, you will understand where I'm coming from. We must participate in bringing us together. We must participate in ensuring that everybody comes together. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It is not by chance. It would not be at no point by chance that this thing is happening today. After a lot of tension, God continuously showed the Ambazonian people that this is the way. We are at one point, and we are never going to give up. And let me let us all know that this revolution has already reached a stage where no individual, I repeat, no individual can actually do otherwise. We are going to Boya, and Boya we must reach. Now, I want to say this very clearly. Listen to me. Before I start this show officially, I will advise a few of us. I want you all to know that when the victory is closest, the savior or the saviors are most prosecuted. Listen very attentively. I have said it, and I'm going to repeat, that there are not, you will not fight all the fights. Sometimes you have to walk away, but you come back when the injustice is getting too severe. For now, there is no cause for me to go the other way. We have to stay focused. We have to maintain the integrity of preaching intelligence and education into our people. Because this is what is the most important thing. I'll go further. Let me just pull out a couple of things very quickly. Now, this is what I want to say to all of you. The, 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 I will start with this particular point. The ministers of La Republic du Cameroon, a lot of them, they came out and they told the international community that they do not want the international community to intervene because they, they can solve their problem amicably. And we agree. According to them, they can solve their problem with Maurice Cantu amicably. That is fine. If La Republic, because La Republic has issues, they have territorial issues, boundary issues, and the infringement on the territorial integrity of Southern Cameroons, they have that problem. That is problem number one. They have the problem in the north of their country with the Boko Harams. They have another problem in the south with the Tika rebels or whosoever. Then they have an electoral problem with Maurice Cantu and the other political parties in La Republic du Cameroon. Then now, they also have a bigger problem, which is an international problem, with the people of Southern Cameroon. So, I want to clear this fact to all of you Southern Cameroonians and drive this message. Let us be very clear with all of this. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, we have to remain focused, and focus we shall remain. In the meantime, I will cease just one minute to address a couple of things before I continue with this message. I will not get distracted. 
I want to invite the likes of Nelson Ocheba and other people who have sucked themselves into conspiracy theories, who have sucked themselves, they have allowed themselves to be taken over by the spirit of deception, the spirit of confusion. I'm talking to you, Nelson Ocheba, before I will continue. I want to let you know that Ambazonia is bigger than you, that bigger than everybody, bigger than anything you can write. When we have stories to tell that will influence and correct the mind of our people, give them the spirit, forget about politics. I'm not interested in the gimmicks you pro play. I'm not interested in who is who. I'm interested in ensuring that I preach the right thing to the poor of Southern Cameroons. You have the right to support anybody, but I also have the right to preach to people that there is need for us to remain neutral and to remain united. Whichever way you choose, that is going to, you are going to be judged by history. I have chosen a side to take at this time, and I pray that God will continuously endow me with wisdom to stand where I stand. It is your right to decide who you want to support. It's my right to also decide to remain neutral and to preach to the people what they need. You must understand, Nelson Ocheba, that if you are a man who refuses to compromise or refuses to understand that sometimes you got to rest in the things you do, then you are no man. You are only going to be converting yourself into an animal who refuses to understand that in society there are times that you have to say, you know what, calm down. I want to reiterate to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, that La Republic of Cameroon has infiltrated our struggle. You have people who are only paid either by the devil or by the government of La Republic to ensure that they only put comments that will further divide our leaders or our revolution. I will not go down that path, and this should be a message to you, Nelson Ochema particularly, who is a kingpin, a, a big uh, cabal of conspiracy theory. For you to understand that we as a people, we must continuously preach love. I love you, my brother. If I've done something wrong to you, forgive me. Let's move on and know that the world is watching. We do not need all this input in shows that we be meant to educate our people and the international community. Thank you so much, and I'll go on from here. Now, like I was saying, La Republic du Cameroon says that they do not have any issue that the international community can settle. I want to let Mr. Paul Bia Bimvondo, Emmanuel René Sadi, Lojou Mbela Mbela, and the rest of all the people, the Atanga poor, we respect you as ministers of La Republic. But when it comes to our territorial integrity, we will not allow you to convince and confuse the international community. Ladies and gentlemen, like I was saying, La Republic of Cameroon has its issues, internal issues with Kanto, with Boko Haram, and with the Tika rebels and other issues of embezzlement when they have, where they have many of their ex-ministers in jail. But the issue between La Republic and Southern Cameroon is an international issue. And the international issue must be mediated by the international community. For La Republic to say that it's an internal issue, it can never be an internal issue. When, and when, a, matter becomes, when a matter becomes international, of course, we have all those futures. Southern Cameroon was an independent country. Of all of you know the history, there is no need to be labeled that point. In 1960, we, of course, the people of Southern Cameroon, in 1961, after the Republic had our own independence in 1960, we also obtained our independence in 1961. Those were two different countries, a minister as a trusted territory, under, of course, the, uh, uh, um, the, the United Nations. These are things that the UN must take responsibility. We, the people of Southern Cameroon, we are not the French people. We speak English language. We practice the common law. We have boundaries with Nigeria and, of course, other boundaries with the Republic of Cameroon. So there is no way the government of Mr. Pobia can begin to tell the international community that we are uh, 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 a, a people. We are not together. We have never been together. We have been two separate countries living on the line of an understanding that has not yielded any fruit. Based on this, we must continuously preach to the international community that we are not and will never be the people of the Republic of Cameroon. We are Southern Cameroons and when you have Mr. Pobia move his military, military into Southern Cameroons, killing our people and coming to tell the world that it's an, internal, it's an internal issue. We say no. It cannot be an internal issue when we have refugees over a million in Nigeria. 
We have refugees in Morocco. We have refugees in the U.S. And we have refugees all over. We must remain committed and devoted to the fight. Number two, we have all seen that the governors, especially that of the Northwest, according to them, but of course, he, he's occupying our various counties. They have come with conspiracy theories that amber fighters have attacked villages and did whatever. We don't know what they are talking about. Now, this is what I want to say to those people. Listen very attentively. La Republic du Cameroon, you have to understand one thing. Ask yourself this question. Where do amber boys live? In the houses or in the bushes? The question is obvious, in the bushes. That's where all the amber boys live. Amber boys, they live in various places in the bushes. So when the military, should, the military should understand one thing. During the era of the Maquisar, the population was running towards the military camps for protection. Put in your head. The population was running during the military camp, during the uh, 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 Makiza period, the population was running to the military camps for protection. That's when you had the era of the Makiza. But today, where is the population running? The population is running to the bushes. The population runs from their villages. Either they go to Nigeria as refugees, some go to Dubai, to Morocco, to other places, they also run to the bushes where the Amber Boys protect them. We have seen where the Amber Boys have been protecting our people. We saw when some generals used to give food to our people. So if the Amber Boys were killing the civilian population, they will not run towards them in the bushes. Let the military show me one place where you will have Amber Boys, uh, 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 population running towards the camps. No, the population on the contrary, runs to the bushes. That is exactly what they do. They run to the bushes. The population runs to the bushes where the military cannot get access to them, where they'll be protected by the Amber Boys. So that issue about everybody saying that all the military of the Republic, saying that, you know what, it is Amber Boys who are doing this, who are doing that, all of those things, discard it and forget about it. So we continue to pray that the international community will get these messages and get it very clearly. Another thing I want to say here is this, that you remember that La Republique du Cameroon, during the period when they had crisis with the UPC militants, what did you used to see in the morning? Early mornings, those who have read history and who know, you get up in the morning, you see UPC members, party members, so chopped off. You have them, their heads have been chopped off by La Republic to Cameroon military. They chop their heads off and then put it on the sidewalks and on the roads in the morning. People will pass and see, hey, this man head, this particular man's head has been chopped off. These heads have been chopped off. They, it is the same arithmetic because that is what the La Republic military has been trained to do. Any head that you see chopped off in Southern Cameroon, just know you that it is the army of Mr. Pobia. That is the instruction that they have taken from their, from their government from time immemorial. So we must all know these facts and keep these facts clear so that we are not deceived by the government of Cameroon. The international community needs to know all of these things. Now, going forward, let us be clear. I want to say that the explosion that happened in Sonera is an accident designed by God to show the poor of Southern Cameroon. Just one minute, let me adjust this. So like I was saying, okay, I think we are good. Uh, I'm trying to fix a couple of things. So we, the poor of Southern Cameroon, must know one thing. The explosion that happened in Sonera a few minutes ago or, there, or about an hour ago, we must understand that it is God's hand work. Every Southern Cameroonian, you must understand that particular issue. We as a people must know that God is changing this revolution. It's making us to focus on exactly what is the goal. I want to tell you for something. 
I know tomorrow people will claim responsibility. People will say that, oh, there are the people who did this. Every sudden come on and take it from me. That was an accident, a mysterious fire that caused an explosion. And God knows why. It, it is an end time. It's a warning that God is giving to Pobia. It is a sign that God is giving to us Ambazonians that your victory is at hand. Let me say this to all of you. I will not, as Eric Tato, participate in this diaspora politics. Because the red and are killing people, and every day we are talking politics, politics, God has again showed us, I will not claim responsibility that I did that. People will claim tomorrow, you will see. But if they did it, they would have known that it happened. They would have posted first. So we we'll look at all of those things, all of those factors. God simply ensured that that explosion, that fire, occurred in Sonora today. Look at everything. All the live shows, they were lined up. God is not stupid. All the top Ambazonians who are paddling this revolution, all of them have spoken. Which everybody spoke. I spoke. Mark has written. Sati Chris spoke. This one wrote. They said, yeah, Barista Fu just spoke. Everybody spoke and everywhere was boiling. Then God came with this news. I want to tell you for something. God came with this news to suppress every gossip. Today, you see, because when you talk, this man talks, is the next talk that will have the debate. So God simply used it to say, you know what? I'm not interested in what all of you have said. I'm interested in showing the sign to the people. Grand Zero, let me make you people, let me make you people understand one thing. We, the poor Southern Cameroons, must understand that Grand Zero is feeling the highest pain. We for diaspora, let's understand this. God is telling you, and I'm telling you today, that God is looking at you. Because most, if not 98% of you were tired between last week until about 10 uh, uh, p.m. You poor were tired. All of you were shivering, you were confused that what is going on. You know what? Some of you say, you know what? Some of you call me. You say, Tato, you know what? I don't tire. I say, no, listen, don't, no, don't get tired. Don't get tired because something is going to happen. And God, just when you are about going to sleep, there is nobody in Cameroon, La Republic, and there's nobody in Ambassador that has not had this news about Sumera. Even in the least village, people have called, and everybody is happy. When, when God wants to rebuild, he, he destroys the things that give the enemy power. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. Look at other places. God is going to destroy everything that gives the Republic power to ensure that... Just one minute. So God is going to ensure that he gives us those signs for us to see what is happening. To me, I have said it and I'm going to say it. I need some time off all this politics because it's not going to help. But when the injustice will persist, Eric Tato will always come back to take the heads of those who are causing injustice and use for firewood. We must remain focused. We have seen how much our people have been killed. And when people begin to almost get tired, God said, no, I will rekindle this hope. I will bring this world back to understand that I'm the Alpha and Omega. And what happened? Boom! The fire on Sonara. And that is it. That is Sonara that people will say, now how are we going to do this Sonara? Let's talk how we we'll do this Sonara. Nobody was talking about it. Nobody knew anything. Nobody knew. And God is not stupid to put it on a Friday, on a month end. Look at when God put it. That incident, for most of the people in, in America, Today is still Friday. God did not make it 1 a.m. so that it should be 31st. It should be May in America and then uh, uh, June in, in, in La Republic or in, uh, in Victoria, in, in Southern Cameroon. God made it to fall on the same day. We know some other continents may have those differences, but in most of the areas, Europe, America, and the rest, probably only Asia and other places will have some differences. This is to tell us that God is fighting for us. I have faith, I have confidence. I have the motivation. When you see, I, I behave the way I behaved in this past moment. I'm looking at things. 
and I'm praying, it was my heart, praying that God bring up something that will cover all this distraction. Bring, I did not know, but I knew that God is, was going to come somehow. And God did not need to wait for tomorrow or next tomorrow or for too long for Paul to be discouraged. Listen, fight. Because if you don't get this independence, God forbid, we will be slaves forever to, to those people. They are working everything to ensure that they enslave us. But God is doing everything to ensure that this. God will not come and take your hand and go and give you independence. He will give you the signals, the roots, the, the various, various techniques for you to, 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 to know that this is the direction you have to go to. So let's remain committed. Let's trust God. Let's continuously pray to God. Above all, you already know where to put your money. You know where to put your money. It will emphasize, you'll say, oh, it's because this and that. But I want to reiterate that those of you in FACO, you know Joshua Ka, contribute to them. Those of you in Meme, you know who's in charge of Meme, contribute to them. I have by one of my, my brothers in Belgium and another point in Meme County, contribute to them. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. You know those in Dongaman to reconstitute yourselves. Those in Manu, those in Le BLM, everywhere contribute. I want to tell you both something. And let me be clear with all of you. See, this revolution will end. Those who think that this is going to be for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, that they'll keep feeding themselves, they'll stay on it, making business, and doing all this, it is going to end. And this year is going... I'm telling you, Paul, it will not pass this year. Now, 2019 is not. Will not fit ever go 2020 where will not go some side or end this thing. This thing will end. So better people should be preparing themselves because if people think that oh contribution will be coming for this thing they'll be using or this one, that one is going to end to me. And I want to take a pledge. I don't want anything in Amazonia. I just want us all for us to ensure that we go to that country or we'll make it free for our next generation. There is nothing that we can be fighting. And now let me end this show. By giving an advice to my brother Tapang Tanku. Tapang, I want to talk to you. You are my brother. Uh, some people I was I was not watching because I was coming from a funeral in Virginia today. Some people called me, a lot of people, let me put it that way. They say, Yeah, hey, Tapang, you talk, it costs you this, it costs you that, and all of this. I don't hear. I know Twitter, I know they will take away Tapang the Kosh man. It be okay. I accept all the things away talk, no problem. Any man will know me, they say, if you Jesus said, I am whom I am. If any man will know, he know who I be. They talk away, they talk, talk me about my skin, that's all I know. So I don't look and say, me, I don't take commitment. I have a pledge to God the day Father, with a man appear. It take me and you put up a front crowd. He reconcile me. From my heart, genuinely, I will forgive you. I don't know if you forgive me or not, but it will be my responsibility for forgive you. I did thank you. I said, thank God. May God give you a long life. So that me will see how the revolution will end. Me will see and say, you need people. Not the people need you. You more need people. So, my biggest prayer for you, Tapang, I didn't ask you to curse me. But that time for curse me, I go curse you, it don't pass. Because as I did curse you, it need to help no way. More people did die for down. So, I still, I still pray for God. I don't even get the grace for every time I forgive person, but I still pray, pray I did forgive any man. I think on you to ask forgiveness for anyone because it be important. Now obligation for we for work for this way, for see the light the way God damn. Forgive everybody. Me, I'm not gonna have problem. You get the light up and you get your platform. Crush me from today to tomorrow. Talk all kinds of things. What I talk with you about me, I'll be villager, I'll be this. I accept at least villager get life. Every mind of a village where they fight the war. Now villager, if you see fight for free will. The person where you call the instruction of Gang Zero, you know, enter plane. Where does he fight for free homeland? So we, the people of Southern Cameroon, will not be continue for the fight. I'll not be fighting forever because I'll not be living my life like animal in conflict all the time. I never only talk on China. If you do not China, be true in a lie. You can know tomorrow, so AJ will can claim responsibility for this son of thing when I lie. Now, the only thing I can do in a lie, but I know if you say, if I want to talk in a lie, I'm going to go cush you. We don't have a cush. And sometimes they get a talk, say, you know what? I need a break. That is how it is. I need a break because for how long? For how long we will fight for the kind way? So I, I continuously, the only thing I will tongue I say, I bet, I pray for you, for God, for your family, for God, for guide you, for give you grace, 
The bad thing away top, I go throw him. The good one way take away top, me people take him. We go help revolution. Because all we will not be the go that way. So I pray for you, my brother. At the year, all the thing, I know we can cost you. Honestly, it don't make no sense. I will disgrace father, and then I will put myself in a situation where God will take grace out of me. I will come up with that church out the way for that way for a man appear. In reconcile, we are come up with the spirit for God because now the same father will baptize me. Then he can reconcile me and you from you be. He can reconcile me and you from America. You know, even a chance, even a design. And God, I feel that God won't test my faith, and I'm not be disappointed God because if God leave me, I'm nobody. I want to remain in the vineyard of our Lord Jesus. So I continuously will pray for you, Tapan. Say, me God, open your eye, me you see and say, you need people. And what I'm waiting to do, always insult every to accept. You always guide, no problem. But God, me God, guide we need all we will not say. We need all man. We not be always fight with our brother. Sometimes you're going to say enough is enough. So we thank you very much for the shows that you do. As you continue over three, say, if you only vilify people, if only cause, no problem. I thank you so much. May God bless you and God will continuously bless you because my prayers are there with you. When you pray me, bad prayer, I will pray good prayer. And God will obviously continue to bless you. I will always intercede on your behalf because that is what God has taught us to always pray for our people. I know say I'm not be a perfect person, I'll not be sent, but sometimes, sometimes in life, you got to just say, okay, you know what? I take everything because it be bigger than put it they die. That picking they kill you for down. Wait till it happen. That four month old picking. As case I will remember that picking, what can the cost not happen with the America? It is fine. As case I will remember that uh, Mami Apio, they be born for quite, quite long ago. Or I will remember that refugees that were there for Nigeria, what can the fight with you? Or I will remember that who will not be go this way. A lot of things that don't happen way will get to understand, say, fight for social media, it don't pass that time. Any human being must go down for a knee for pray for God, say, God, give me the grace, give me the fortitude. When I want to send out any audio or I want to write anything where concern this revolution, me not being a tail go put one brother against the other. We don't try. We feel only debunk lies, but we not feel cush. Some because sometimes the way you feel the cush, cush very well, yes. It could be because there's too much of a thing is a disease. We we'll not be continue so. And we pray, me God guide every Southern Kamoya the Wazi show. Thank you so much. I will live on at this point. My brother Tapan, I still leave you a lot of love, a lot of my prayers. Say me God protect you. Anytime you go do your live show, may God inspire you, may God for the benefit of Ambazonia. I also beg Ambazonia people, they say, when I always understand, when I open my heart, when I take the good to report, they go talk, when I throw the bad one. Whatever critical situation, and God don't use this on the right incident, for sure we say, we got to go ahead. I don't talk about four or five things then. Okay, for this show, it looked very interesting, educative, straight to the point. I know if we can spend one hour, they always used to go before for the coach Tapang. Oh, Tapang say, you did do this. They all, he said, he said, you collect money, pay rent. Where all man knows you need to collect the money. Now, just waste of time because it's just planned. Like, now, one way for travel, this traveling. Everybody right there around me, family, everybody, they know who I be. And I don't overemphasize. After all, I've not show my paycheck and all my things for, for live show. I'm only for drum the second time because it will become so childish and so crazy. And that's the level that I know God don't want me to go anymore. We don't pass all those stages. I one time one of my brother Nelson, when we come from Canada, I'm here, we get a drink. He advised me a lot of things on a, like a big brother, and I take those advice seriously. I want to thank all now. When I stay focused, we we'll put this revision back on track. We we'll continue to forgive everybody, but we we'll not overlook mistakes, and we we'll not overlook mistakes. We we'll always have a position. We we'll ask God for grace for the thing that we do. Everywhere in the world, there is politics, but you will not allow politics to control you. After all, Jesus Christ said, the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Thank you so much, and keep your spirit with God. Always remember that when you take an engagement with God, don't go against it. But I will let a man appear. You are a good man. You baptize me. You reconcile me. You're probably one man that put up with my greatest enemy. I gave my heart to the reconciliation. He's trying to stab me back in the back. I want you to, you to join me to pray for my brother so that he can understand that sometimes you got to leave things the way they are. Thank you so much. Happy weekend. We'll continuously pray for our people back home. Mommy, Papa, them. All we now want to do for Dangi, we want to suffer. At the sea, we want suffer. It be too tough. I know. Most time when I talk and I look at the pictures the way they send them for me, I always want to cry. And they cry now because of it now because I look because I just come over bury one of my friends, a divine mambo, the brother come from UK, he stop for church, all man he cry. I will go bury in a military, in a US military man. You know, they just leave it for the military, they take it go, the family go house, the family go, a small boy picking, he did play around, he never even say papa don't die. Life and nothing. We never continue for the fight this way all the time. We must remain consistent in our belief, say. God is the ultimate and death is the price everybody has to pay. If you die without reconciling with your brother or without having a place in heaven, you'll only be a slave forever. So let's remain together, forgive for our people, and of course, with Father, with Femme Pierre, I love you. Thank you so much for everything you have done. I will never disappoint you because I want to go to heaven. 
just the way everybody wishes to go. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.